Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris Stelz. Tonight, we're going to be looking at a beer that I get so many requests for this brewery. Um, literally, like, ten requests a week for this brewery. Um, it is Three Floyds Brewing out of Indiana. And this is their Blackheart IPA, which is a English IPA or a UK IPA. Um, that's what they call it. Um, it's basically an IPA brewed all with English, you know, ingredients, grains, hops, all that stuff. And then they age it on oak. And it's actually a collaboration between them and a tattoo studio, Blackheart Tattoo, out in San Francisco. Um, comes in at 9.0%, so it's, you know, it's really high for a, if they want to consider it a traditional British beer. Um, but, I, you know, it's three Floyds. I doubt they're doing anything like that. So, excited for this one. I've never had it, and I hear really good things about it. So, let me get it in the glass, let you know how it smells, how it tastes, and we'll get you the verdict. Alright, so the aroma on Blackheart, um, I was getting whiffs of it, you know, as soon as they opened the bottle. Yeah, there's a lot of sweet mango, papaya, peach, that kind of flavor going on. There's a lot of uh, orange peel zest in there, and there's a little bit of that West Coast kind of pininess there, too. Tons of malt, which is really was that what I was expecting. Oh. Is a British abs a freaking movie not? Um, is a good hell yeah. Uh, this is an excellent, excellent IPA, and you know it comes in at nine percent. I'm gonna, you know, it's basically a double IPA. As soon as it gets into your mouth, tons and tons of bitterness. This is what I was expecting from the uh, from a British type of IPA. Just a ton of bitterness, not a whole lot of fruit. But the strange thing about this one is you get the bitterness by the middle of the tongue. You're getting, you know, surrounded by this peach and the papaya, which, you know, the sweet kind of tropical fruits, um, which you kind of smell and the aroma and everything, but it's then you start to taste it. And by the back of the tongue, it's just like a malt, sweet malts and tons more bitterness, actually, believe it or not. Just an excellent beer. And I, was, I will say this, 9% alcohol, you definitely taste it in this one. Sometimes beers are blended um, to the point where you don't really taste it. There's no doubt about it, this is definitely a 9% beer. Alright, so the verdict on Three Floyds Blackheart. Um, it's kind of a strange beer and I'm having kind of issues with giving it a, a grade. They call it a British IPA, UK IPA, English IPA. Um, when you do that, you kind of have to lump it into, I guess, the ESB category of kind of a traditional British beer. And Three Floyds is by no means, uh, you know, a traditional brewery at all. So, if I'm judging this based strictly on whether or not, you know, how does it fit into a British type of beer situation, you know, it, it's not even close. This is like an Amer as, as an Americanized uh, English beer as you can get. And for that, I applaud them because um, it takes, you know, a balls to really kind of take a uh, a well-known kind of beer like an ESB English IPA and just kind of throw it on its head and do whatever they want with it. And, you know, it still does have those characters. It has the, the malt backbone of a British beer. It has the spiciness and the bitterness of a British beer. Um, but it has, you know, all, this, all, the, all the fruit aroma, the fruit flavors from all the, the hops and the 9% alcohol, which is definitely, you know, an American brewery type of situation. So in the end, I'm definitely going to give this one an A. Um, it's just a, not, a hit out of knock home run out of the park, hit out of the park, whatever you call it, um, for three Floyds, uh, I, again, and this is limited, you should be able to get it now if you live, you know, within the couple states they distribute to, but it's going to be gone pretty soon, definitely get yourself a bottle, it's good stuff, again, this is three Floyds, Blackheart, uh, English IPA, British IPA, it comes in at 9%, and it is available now, limited time only, so until next time, guys, cheers.